Welcome back, Canaanites. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the new leader in Halo Wars 2, Morgan Kinsano. Kinsano is certainly one of the more interesting UNSC leaders to date. Prior to the Covenant War, Kinsano was a key insurrectionist leader in the Outer Colonies, fighting against the Unified Earth government and bringing ruin to all who threatened her home. However, as the Covenant began their campaign of genocide and the insurrection scattered, Kinsano turned her sights on the new enemy. She enlisted in the UNSC, intent on bringing the heat to the Covenant. During her time in the UNSC, Kinsano became known as Inferno to her comrades. Though not as disciplined as her fellow officers, her ruthlessness and inspirational presence made her a respected leader. By 2531, Lieutenant Colonel Kinsano found herself on board the UNSC Spirit of Fire, commanding the ship's Hellbringers. When the Spirit of Fire chased after a kidnapped Professor Anders, she was among the crew that would eventually be labeled as Lost. When the Spirit of Fire found itself over the Ark in 2559, she and the rest of the crew awoke to a new fight against the Banished. With the rest of the Spirit's forces receiving upgrades, it would seem that Kinsano didn't want to be left behind. She has seen Warthogs outfitted with flamethrowers, aka Flamehogs, and is able to call in Hellbringers much the same way that ODSTs drop into a firefight. Of course, her biggest battlefield asset is her personalized Cyclops. Outfitted with twin flamethrowers, what it lacks in range, it makes up for in lethality. Kinsano can also call in Napalm Missiles and a massive fire blast called Inferno. Morgan Kinsano is an awesome leader in the game and a fascinating character in the fiction. An insurrectionist turned UNSC leader, I truly can't wait to learn more about her. Unfortunately, that's it for this leader profile. There's not a whole lot to say for now, but hopefully that will change in the future. I also hope to get these out a little closer to when the leader actually releases rather than several days later. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.